Beano Black here, and folks, we got webcams back up. Remember, we make no money here, and we're basically going to keep our choppers shut because basically we're happy that our German scientist friends have got their webcams back up down there. And I encourage people to check this site out. Our Norwegian friends have got a nice site at, and here we'll even go up, and there is the website. Check our Norwegian friends have got a lot of info too, and we'll probably hang out and have a couple cold toddies with the Germans a lot down there maybe possibly who knows who's hanging out and anyway we got lots of information and we haven't lost any s radar domes because check it out we're flowing through the video here folks but anyway they remembered that the radar dome was on top of the building so anyway we got objects and matter of fact I think I can go back real fast because we got what's coming by there at that early hour and Watch the clock because this is on the first. It won't change too much from the 30th to the whatever. And this is early hours in the afternoon. Okay. So you get that. And then we'll walk away from this and we'll just let this play because we have photos. And I, yeah, I can back up real fast here and you're actually going to see it come back. Or hang on. We'll just go like this. And we'll bring up that, and we'll this, and you can see, and I'll be able to hit the photos. I'm going to go to my photos. I can show stuff faster, okay? As you can see, we do not have any of the uh, action here that we're going to see at the photo. I'm going to go to the photos real fast because playing with the video things always screws up and takes up too much doggone time, okay? The eclipse is showing, as you can see here, as I watch this one monitoring going through. Uh, whether it is the sun and the moon, the, the scientists, maybe, hey, if you, hey, throw Beano Black a, of what do you think that was still given this, because we are going to see photos here. I'm going to go to the photos. And as we go to the photos real fast, we are going to go ahead and, <laughs> and lie to you and go back to this. got to lie every once in a while. Okay, now, here we go with pole shift, okay? Try to give you the truth as much as we can all the time here. Now, just check out, and what I'm interested in somebody giving me is how much is two quadrants of axis shift from January 1st, because look what happened the previous year, okay, to February to January. For a whole year, they only went that far, okay? Look how far a quadrants we have went this year. We've went more than this distance here from that quadrant to this quadrant, okay? We have went outside two quadrant boxes of distance of pole shift on the South Pole, because this is, I believe, the South Pole down here, okay? And then the Y-axis is, is the upper, our North Pole, okay? And there is the compression for earthquakes probably today. More than likely, these will be the hot zones here for earthquakes. I'll try to throw some seismic in here. Uh, the sun still, you know, it's in the supergiant, so there's lots of action. Uh, you'll see if you watch my last video just before this one, you go to that and you'll see that the Navy gives you the, get the shot up the right direction correctly. On my last video, I show the Navy gives me, or you know, you can go on the internet and find it too. There's a little credit to those guys there. Throw a disclaimer out there, but anyway, th they give us lots of information, but they get all this information from all the scientific data that basically they pay rights, boom, boom, boom. I don't go on here every day showing stuff, so the idea that we're just educating. My legal disclaimer shows that, so that we're just educating what's going on. But this is up to date here on 5.46 p.m. Central Standard Time, 12-1-2011. December, folks. And so you see we have right axis shift a little bit high on going through. The, remember, we go about 60,000 miles an hour through space, the Earth does, following the sun. Okay, we hope we're still following the sun. But then again, uh, we'll keep on idea, and I'll try to throw that in for last computation to see how close we are to the sun again. I have been kind of forgetting to keep track of how close we are. We're getting close to that closest means we've ever known. And there is the South Pole, and as you can see, we're still off down there continuously all the time. So CME action, I think we may have gotten something recently, and if you see the dates here, and you can check that out because the CME action, there was... Uh, on the 25th and stuff, there was CME action. We should have already received that stuff, I believe. So out of here. So here we are sharing and educating, and, and this is our distance currently. Okay. Uh, go back to my uh, comments box on my Beano Black uh, website on YouTube, and you will find, go back through my back pages. And yes, folks, that's how we get 365.25 
636 days in a calendar year. That's an orbital period of the sun. That's how long it takes us to go around the sun. So we are, scientists have got to get it down to a pretty gnat's ass of when the doggone uh, Big Bang was and the idea, because the idea, all you have to do is go to what I showed you the map on, let's go to that. So as you can see, Neo's projection for objects close by, uh, remember, in the hatch, right in the middle of the hatch, folks, Earth should be in the sun, should be something, what I would figure, right there on the square of the, of the right in the hatches of the, uh, if you had a scope, if you were shooting your rifle, getting it uh, bore sighted in, and then you go out and shoot it and sight it in for uh, deer hunting season, or whatever season you're going for, okay? So the idea that it doesn't matter. Earth and the sun is somewhere in this. And as far as I know, the sun should always designate it as the center. So the super giants and everything should be, boom, right in the right in the gun sight there. And then you can see e all kinds of objects of our meld of asteroid belts and all this action down here. This is December 2nd projected out. And the idea that Milky Way and whatever galaxy and uh, universe, Milky Way galaxy and other galaxies and universes and everything melding together here because all these are big objects. The red ones are big objects and they're the ones that come by us or we go by them in stereo going through space. And we go 360 some odd days around the sun. Gives us our calendar year. And then through all the universes in space that we know Earth has been staying within the constellations because we never lose sight of them because of the brightness so there you go, December 2nd, well, that's what it looks like uh, out there of everything. All those red ones are marked that they know what the heck they are. The other ones are big, more than likely planets because the idea that, or suns of the supergiants in parts of the asteroid belts because the idea that NASA keeps an eye on all this stuff. And as you can see, and you watch this one here, it gives you the movement that's going on on the 1st to the 2nd as you see the date right down here, okay? So all this stuff is out there and then we get weather from outer space through our atmosphere it bleeds through and we get earthquakes and so forth and so on so i'll spin through here real fast and you can see graph action if there's something that you know there's a quake then it'll be pretty and then basically looks like the philippines gets rocked again pretty good today and it looks like florida gets a little action over there and otherwise things are quite calm a little bit it seems like antarctica had a little bit of a quake today down there that's pretty darn small compared to normally as we would normally see big ass calm and big ass quake action in there so that looks pretty decent. So we won't waste our time going to Worldwide Quake. Fresh Lasco, new times. So check that out. You can always freeze this and blow it up on your computer screen. Lasco 3 real fast. And the idea that more than likely that is Jupiter from all these for the last few videos and stuff like that. It was a, is a darn good guess. Let's blow this up because we see this anomaly here is probably one of our Vs, which we know there's way more than one now by now. It's more than likely that's a V also there or possibly a, a smaller planet. And this stuff is humongous, ladies and gentlemen, even that there, because the idea that how small sun, how small the Earth is to the sun or any sun that's there, okay? So check that out. That's pretty good. That's four, uh, 400. You guys can go to blow that up at a at 1,000. I don't think I'm going to get much more than that. What the hell? I'll shut up and do that. Hang so I blow up, and we're not even looking at it, and we have other V actions. So it's just all about the V out there in, fo in space, folks. More than likely, that's what the British knew about a long time ago, psychologically with everybody, is the idea that there's stuff out there in space, and there's just a hell of a lot of V's up there. V for victory and peace and all that stuff like that, because there's something bigger than us out there. And there's that V, that's that object we just seen a second ago. I blew it up to a thousand percent, and there you go, another triangulation. So let's just scoot around real fast. There we go. More than likely, it's it's, you know, and it, it does make sense that, that should be Jupiter because it should be the biggest doggone thing that we got out there. And the idea, let's go to the pictures real fast because it, it, that's what's going to save a lot of time for me here and starting to notice to flop through pictures. So let's go to the pictures and there's a planet down there. So there's all kinds of planets that we don't know about because they don't tell us too much about because they're around us close to this. Real fast, 2000 YA something or over to heck. But anyway, here's going to be the close time on, the, on Christmas, the day after Christmas, uh, 5.36 a.m., close to Earth, pretty darn close, and also at, it's going to be pretty darn close at 10.57 a.m. to the moon. Uh, 
at those IUs there, you can see right there. Okay, that's the IU, 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 and then it's got the minimum, maximum, nominal, and you can go to JPL, check it out. It's 2000 YA is our next close object, okay? So around the poles on spaceweather.com, and yep, starting to talk about the Vs that we see in Hawaii and up in space and everything like that. And so, as you can see, that was our, that's our next object coming in on the 26th, okay? So the sun's getting a pretty good Y triangulation flaring on it, i.e. a big Y triangulation flaring there where all the CMEs are hitting. So Y, 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 mm -hmm. triangulation, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of stuff matches up. Also, qu really quick, watch this bright object here that we see in the so core B2. It's a big old red blotch there. Go watch the Davis webcam and you'll understand what I'm talking about in a second. And as I go back here, you will see that the idea that we are still getting some sort of eclipse down there at the south, in the Antarctic, South Pole. Okay. This is from Palau. And the idea that uh, at Atka Bay, and at Atka Bay you can still see some sort of, uh, from the sun, or it's possibly the darkness of the idea so it's kind of hard to say if you go back to the one I made on the uh, uh, the eclipse night that uh, it's kind of as you can see that goes away and at the time too so I see it's in the end of the, end of the AM hour and then here comes the Sun okay so that's five o'clock so that when that we go back it's always matches up that the idea that when we go back to 1 a.m. come on here we go and we're going to see this move away as we see our blotch that comes through and we got some blowed up as you see this tier two piece watch this I'm gonna go to the photos now so ie our blotch on Teholoma because these are our photos this changes it's not done damn street light and these are close objects that get caught in the frames and the idea that as you see this changes and we don't have LED lights above and the idea they mount all of these in a dark areas where no lights will get in on them okay this is the sun going away in the west okay because nighttime is coming okay this was a six, six or eleven forty six UTC so that's you take six hours and the idea that that's when the sun was going down or either that or coming up in the east if anything that's coming up in the east that's the sun and that's not this as you check that out that will change you see that and it changes through these shots Okay, so the idea that that object there is up there and more than likely with the times, if you watch, that's UTC time, okay, it all matches up. So the only other uh, Domar gentlemen friends down or uh, ladies also scientists down there in German at the center have is at the other station, uh, the cold away station is where that picture of the laser was taken at, folks. So as we go here, as you can see that that changes, stays in that same spot and it changes. So there you go. And more than likely, that's the sun over there. And so the idea that all this here has more than likely been bleeding out us the truth, folks. That's no street light caught on their shots there. Okay. So as we go back through these shots, that was that. And then also the time up there on this. And I guess I'm going to have to re -cue. And then also, yeah, I caught it up there. I get it coming across the sky. And I don't have the time. So more than likely, a couple nights ago in the video, more than likely, the it was Jupiter. And I believe I have it highlighted on here. And there you got the times. I can't talk too much on the idea that you'll get the idea that we had two objects down there that were probably the shades. And you can go to... Uh, and check out the polar star and that'll give you the idea of, the, of anything of movement that we are doing with the constellations over the years they have it projected out and you think pretty much but don't trust everything that goes on Wikipedia okay now there is the dates and the times of what's down there and the idea that here's what we've got in the sky blown up this is all today and you'll end up seeing the times and dates just gotta get the pictures in real fast so that you see them and they're blown up and thanks to the German scientists and the group and everything down there 
Yeah. Look at the scammer, new video in a minute.